All right, we're going to point out some of the differences on the different style buses that we have. We're gonna start out on the 2017 International, and we're gonna show you where some of these features are on located on this bus and on the other ones as well. We're gonna start out with the steering wheel adjustment. For this, the steering wheel adjustment is located right there next to the steering column, and that will tilt the wheel up it will not telescope on this particular bus. Next, we're gonna look at our headlights. Our headlights are located all the way to the left and right there where Catherine is pointing. And right next to it is the lamp check button that will circle through all of your um, lamps on the outside. We're going to take a look at our turn signals where that's located right there. And uh, high beams, you pull the bar toward you. The hazard lights are located right there and the um, windshield wiper and washers is on the same turn signal lever. You push in for washer fluid and you turn the knob to make the wipers go. And then we're going to take a look at our strobe light. There it is. We're going to take a look at the heaters and defrosters. We're going to take a look at the um, dome passenger and driver the master switch right there the ambers the override the noise suppression switch and the door switch we also want to take a look at our dvr which is hard to see let me get a better look here there it is Okay, and we're going to take a look at our mirror. This has got electric mirrors. So there you go. Toggle the switch over to make the adjustments. All right, and then you're going to put your bus empty sign on the right hand side in the back of the bus and I'll show you just like that. And this bus does not have a no child left behind alarm, so there's no need to worry about that. Now we're gonna move on to the next bus. Now we're gonna take a look at the 2020 Bluebird, uh, one of our new ones. And we're going to first start with our steering wheel adjustment. There is the latch that you pull forward towards you and it will tilt. And if you keep pulling forward, it will raise and lower telescopically and then you push it back in okay we want to leave that in that upright position so when you get off the bus so people can get in and out of that seat easily all right so we're going to start with the headlamps they are right there and the lamp check this one does not have a lamp check so you'll have to check them on your own we're going to look at our turn signals is located on the bar just like on the international with the high beams you pull forward the hazard lights are located on the silver bar behind it right there and uh, the windshield wipers and washer located right there I push in for fluid we have our strobe light right there we have the dome domes both passenger and have the um, noise of suspension button and then moving over here we have the master switch we have the over amber amber and the override button and the door switch is the blue one right there and this also has no child alarm um, and you will put your sign in the middle of the rear window at the DVR button, which is located right there. All right, and that is a look at the differences on the 2020 Bluebird. We're going to move on to the next one. Okay, now we are going to take a look at the Thomas. Here we go. So, first up, we're going to take a look at how the steering wheel adjustment is actually a pedal. Down by 
the brake pedal and that will adjust going back up and down. This one also will not telescopic. We're gonna take a look at our headlights. Headlights are located right there. The lamp check on this bus is located over here. You have to push depress that for a, an extended period of time. Okay, next we're gonna look at our turn signals right there, pull forward for the high beams. Hazard lights are this red toggle switch behind and the windshield wipers and washers again twist and push the the button okay heaters and defrosters are located all over here we've got the strobe light located right there dome light driver dome passenger dome we got our master switch okay our amber overrides right there and our override switch and we have our door toggle switch right there we also want to point out the dvr button which is located right there and the mirrors are electric in this bus also and they're located right there the noise suppression button is located right there we also have more heaters and defrosters over here as well, okay? Uh, this does have a No Child Left Behind button. Once you return back to the lot, you're going to turn the key off with your parking brake set, your gear shift in neutral, and your door closed. Those things must happen. Then you're going to turn the bus off, put it back to accessory, walk back to the back of the bus and press the silver button right here. That will disengage the no child left behind alarm and then your bus empty placard can be placed in the center of the rear door. Right, now we're going to check out the um, Bluebird 2008, 2008 Bluebird. We'll start out with the steering wheel, how to adjust it. Once again, this is a, a foot pedal and that will raise and lower, but this one will not telescope. Okay, uh, we will next check out the headlights. The headlights are located right there. The lamp check on this bus. Uh, does not exist. We have turn signals that are located right there and the high beam you pull it toward you. Hazard lights are located way over there. Very different location. The heaters and defrosters are all over here. We've got our strobe light. We've got our domes and passenger and driver our master switch is right there with the amber and override right there the door switch is located right there the noise suspension button right there this does have a no child left behind as well and so you would do the the same thing, once your bus is turned off, make sure your parking brake is set, your gear shift is in neutral, the door is closed. Put um, your key back to accessory, walk back to the back of the bus, and press the silver button in the upper right-hand corner that's back there. Your bus empty sign will go in the upper right window mirror um, adjustments i don't think this one has them you'll have to do those all on your own and the dvr button which is located right there okay the windshield washers and wipers are on the opposite side they're not attached to your turn signal and the wipe washers is um, at the end okay and that is your bluebird the International, the 2019 International. So we're gonna start with the steering wheel 
adjustment and that is located on the left side of the steering wheel right there. So you are pushing for telescopic and you are pulling to tilt. There you go. Okay, now we are going to take a look at the headlights. Headlights are located right there. There is no lamp check on this bus. So we're gonna look at the turn signals there. We're going to take a look at the high beam, which again, you pull the bar toward you. The hazard lights are located below the steering wheel right there. We're going to look at the windshield washers and wipers, which is very different on this bus. Turn it to the right, keep going, and then push in for the wash fluid. Okay. Um, we are going to take a look at the heaters and defrosters located right here. Your strobe light is located all the way up here. Okay, we are going to take a look at the dome lights back down here. Master switch is right up here. Then um, the amber lights, the silver button, okay? That's your amber warning lights. Your override lights is the red override button. Your door is the toggle switch, located right there. Your noise suspension button, right there. And there is no child left behind alarm on this bus to worry about. We are going to look at our DVR button, which is located right there, a different spot altogether. And again, the mirrors are located right there. And then your sign will be put in the center of the rear window in back. And that is the end of the differences in all of our buses.